Welcome back to the channel. Jumping straight into this video, I am starting off with cleansed hair. I have washed and conditioned my hair here. As you can see, as I am parting it, it dried just a little bit. I didn't blow dry my hair or anything, just kind of let it air dry. I'm gonna start off with two parts on each side. This is for leave out purposes, just so that if I push my hair back, it gives a more natural look and I don't have the clip-ins showing towards the front if I decide to put my hair in an updo style or pull it back some kind of way. Okay, you guys, here you'll see me creating extra leave out sections. These are the parts that are going to cover up the clip-ins. So this part is important. I wanted to have just enough hair to cover it up. I did not want this part to be too thick because of course, the more leave out you have, the more hair you're gonna have to blend. And it doesn't take much hair to cover up these clip-ins. So I tried to use the least amount as possible. So you'll see me taking some of the back part as well, of course, cause I got to cover up the back and then one on each side and then twisting them up to get them out of the way. My hair, I'm gonna be using this 22nd Century Natural Hair Leave-In Conditioner. This product and many others was created by a YouTuber here. You've probably seen her before. The name of the product is her name on YouTube. So that's another reason why I leave my hair damp is to moisturize it with a leave-in conditioner and then I'll add in some oil. So you'll see me here moisturizing. I'm gonna detangle with my detangle brush, detangling from tips to the root. Then I'm gonna add in my oil. Like I said, you guys have probably heard of Basque and Lather company very popular on instagram right now um, and probably other platforms but i do really enjoy using their oil smells great and really soaks into the hair nicely so you're going to see me moisturizing about six to eight sections here on the areas that are not twisted up for leave out i don't want to create too many because of course the more you create the more you have to take down and you don't want them to be too bulky either because you want your clip-ins to lay down nice so as I'm braiding down, I'm going to twist about an inch before I get finished because it just helps to preserve the ends of your hair a lot better than if you braid it to the very end. So y'all get into this hair. Look at these clip-ins, y'all. They resemble my natural hair so much. These are a 4B, 4C type texture. And see the ends, oh my goodness, look at these ends going to be conditioning with the Aussie Miracle Moist. This conditioner works great if you're looking for something cheap to use. This was the only amount of shedding that I got from the one bundle of hair, so that is pretty great. So you guys, I'm going to take my eight braids and bobby pin them down. As you can see, I sort of twisted the ends. That also just helps to protect them from the bobby pin and the clip ends as well once you get them in there. And as you can kind of see, I'm tucking in any remaining ends just to add some extra protection. I am about to go ahead and define my natural hair so that it blends in with the clip ends a little better. I use got to be glue gel. This stuff does work to define hair. It is not glue, it is gel, but you can use any kind of twisting, styling, cream or gel that you want that will help your hair blend a little easier. I had a dinner to go to tonight. Usually I would just let my hair air dry, but I did take the blow dryer on a cool, to medium setting to kind of help it to dry out a little bit more. Just a little more quickly. To simply put your clip-ins in, you're gonna just pop it out with the hand motion that I just showed you there. I'm gonna be measuring from the starting point into where the clip-in will end. This will help you to know which length to use. And you guys, look at the hair compared to my hair. It is full of bounce. I just love these clip-ins, you guys. They look so natural. It is one of the best hair investments I've made. So right here, I'm just showing you where I will place the next set of clip-ins. I'll be starting from the front as well, and then just pinning it down and wrapping it up under that first set of clip-ins. So I'll be moving the first set of hair out of the way, and like I said, wrapping it right up under where I started the first one. So you'll continue in this motion where you stop is where you'll start the next set. And that's why it's also good to start with the top of your hair where the leave out is 
so that you're able to see how your hair will lay a lot better than starting at the very bottom of your hair at the neck. So the bundle comes with different length clip-ins. Some are longer, some are medium, and some are small. Like I said, you'll just kind of have to sort of measure it out before you put it in, eyeball it, and see where you want each length to go. But overall, it's pretty easy because, like I said, where you stop with one, you could just pick up with another length. I don't recommend cutting them, of course, because it just creates more shedding, but definitely do what works for you in this process. I do recommend taking out your banana clip or whatever is holding your hair just to see if you like the way that the hair falls. If you are satisfied and don't want to add any more honey, go ahead and take down that leave out so that you can blend your hair. <laughs> You all, so this is how my hair ended up blending for the most part with the leave out. I was so hyped that it looked really similar to the, the clip ins because like I said, I had somewhere to go and I did all of this very last minute, but all I used was the got to be gel. Of course, if you have some other kind of styling custard, it may end up working out a lot better, but I always end up opting for the got to be whenever I want to lay or style my hair in some sort of fashion because it just dries very quickly. Using Erica J's Fluff Stuff Styling Foam, I'm going to blend my natural hair with the clip-in hair. I don't use gel on the clip-in hair because it just, to me, makes it a mess before it really needs to be. Using a styling foam usually is just very light and helps to also define the hair. I tied my hair down long enough for me to get my makeup done, so which was about 15, 20 minutes. I'll be taking it down and showing you guys what the end result was like. So further blending the hair, I'm just zhishing it up a little bit, kind of adding some finishing touches. I did, I believe, clip the ends just a little bit, not that they needed it, but to make it shorter. My clip ends started out at 18 inches, but now I think I got them up to like 16 inches after cutting and styling and, and getting it the way that I really liked it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a super quick and easy hairstyle. Like I said, I did this before a dinner and I got it done in less than an hour. So, so definitely quick, versatile, and definitely protective if you're just wanting to do something different with your natural hair for a little while. You can find all the details on this hair in the description bar below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much. Peace, love, and blessings, and I'll see you in the next video.